Ooh, hello everybody. We're gonna kind of start another addition to Traveling Partners. Uh, and I don't know what, what it would, I mean, I'll leave the naming of it or what we call it to creative people, but I'm in the tack room, which is where we start our mornings here on the place and where we keep medicine. It's where we kind of keep our records, and where we stop and have lunch if we're here. And I, I'm on, about once or twice a week, I'm going to sit down and, and just share something, whatever, uh, like different things. But 15, 20 minutes, we're going to put it on the YouTube channel, see if it takes off, see if people give a, give a crap. Uh, so, and it, it'll be cowboy, it'll be Christian, it'll be world, it'll be about being men most of the time. I, growing up out in West Texas, I had a, I got an uncle, uh, and, uh, two situations happened that, that uh, I never will leave my mind. One of them, we was loaded horses and we loaded a cattle truck full of yearlings or cows and, and I can't remember which, but my granddaddy was driving the cattle truck and us boys and my uncle got in the pickup behind him pulling a snake load of horses and we was all going to the ranch to turn them out and uh, this pickup load of hippies, that's what they called men with long hair back in the 70s, they was hippies and uh, they'd come by and, and shooting the finger at, at my granddaddy and, and we had two cb radios in the pickups and then my granddaddy he keyed up that radio and he said uh called my uncle by name he says stevie did you see that and stevie said yes sir i did come on out my granddaddy charlie got going stevie comes around and we just passed by him gooseneck load of horses three of us my uncle me and my brother and we're catching up to this pickup load uh, of hippies and there was two or three in the front seat and two in the back sitting in the back just in the bed of the truck. No shirts on, long hair. That was a thing back in the, in the, see, I was born in 71, so it must have been probably 78, 79, you know, I was probably six, seven, eight years old. And mister, let me tell you something. We caught up with that pickup and we got alongside it and Steve said, lock that door. Well, Dale locks the door and he pushes that pickup off in the bar ditch and we hit that bar ditch and slide to a stop and he grabs that a horse rasp that's laying in the floorboard. And when he come around the hood of that pickup, that first, first fella that was in the bed of that pickup, he whacked him across the back. Uh, it didn't, it didn't feel too good. Uh, they was doing some yelling and hollering and most of that is doing is scratching and scattering. And them suckers left that pickup in the bar ditch and they was running away from my uncle down that road in the bar ditch back toward town. And, and I'll never forget it. I, my eyes, I mean, I was in shock, but, but it wasn't just my, my granddaddy comes by in that big truck. And when he went by, and I mean, of course, that won't never leave my mind, and I'm not condoning any of that. Uh, some might would say we have a could have a temper issue in our family, but but a message was delivered, right? Well, it wasn't, and I can't remember if this was before that or after that, but along in that same time frame, I'm with the same uncle. Uh, and, and and my same brother, me and Dale, in the pickup, and and we're 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 going somewhere. And this hitchhiker's walking down the road, and Steve don't pick him up, and this guy shoots the finger. And Steve, well, he just locks it up, throws it in reverse. We back up. Steve gets out, and he's looking over the bed of the pickup at that feller. And that feller's got him a big old backpack. And of course, you know it ain't just uh, rated G language that, that they're talking to each other with. And ain't no, I mean, it, not. Not bragging, not not proud, just truth. That old boy ends up saying something about I'll pull my pistol out of this backpack and I'll shut you up. Well, Steve, we we had a rifle in the in the in the seat with us. He just grabs that rifle and lays across that toolbox. He said, "Reach for that zipper," and and you know, of course the guy don't. He puts the backpack down. He's like, "I ain't got no pistol anyway." I was lying. Steve said, "I ain't lying." Reach for that zipper. He said, you know, moral of the story, just because you ain't getting a ride don't mean you need to be shooting the finger.